Records. Well, it's one o'clock, and the Brooklyn Cafe is open for business. The team is ready to serve you a huge portion of fun for lunch. Open that lunch pail and unwrap that sandwich you brought. Take a front row seat in the Brooklyn Cafe and get ready to enjoy the humor and hot topics. It's time to get a healthy serving of feel good and happy soup to help your day go easy and enjoy your break with others around you. Your host Dawn and Freddie S are ready to talk about food, health, dating. Or just plain dream making the feel good food you need to help that bagel go down nice and smoothly. If you have a story to share, anything that happened at work, play, a movie review, restaurant critique, or just a coincidental thing that happened to you today, call in toll free 888-565-1470 right now. So sit back and enjoy your lunch break at the Brooklyn Cafe and let Dawn and Freddie S. Get your happy juices flowing. Atlanta, Chicago, Boston, you know we're late. <laughs> now, nobody's manning the gate. You and the rabbit. Nobody's manning man the, the gate. Because I'm going to pop it. Ready to pop it? Manning the gate. Somebody's hey, Syracuse, man can gate. you check the gate, please? Somebody got to man the Thank gate. Thank you. Because even I'm hearing myself back in feedback. And not only that, but we seem to have one of the mics is lit. Hit my on. mic. Turn on. Mic, 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 mic. There you the go. One. There you go. Yeah, because of the board and the sound back. All right. So welcome to all our friends all over the country. And we want to thank you for your participation. Remember, sharing is caring, as my beat-up doll says. Your beat-up doll? Well, I have an idea called, for your doll. It's called a... It's called a I'm uh, going to bathe it in glitter. <laughs> so not. every time you shake it, it's going to poof. Look, <laughs> look if you look on the screen, it's going to poof glitter. I'm going to tell you something poofy. How come you don't beat up your unicorn? Because that's not the purpose. This is a damage doll, and this specifically has a purpose to beat itself up. Is that what its purpose is? Yes, that's its purpose. That's what they call it, twine? But tomorrow, and thank you for sharing your necklace with me from Pam Polani. Where's my necklace? It's on my neck. 
No, that, that's mine. I'm going to give it to you in a minute. But tomorrow's 4th of July. <laughs> so happy 4th of July, everybody. And yes, wanna. we will not be here because the heart of Delray is closed. So we're going to be running a tape tomorrow, but we are here today in full force with Jen G from Got a Guy. We're talking two degrees social media. And then our one o'clock hour, we got some surprises and some more music following this hour. Thank you, Syracuse. Thank you very much. We got a full crew in the house. We even have Cat back with us. El Gato is back. The Dinosaur Lady. We should call you Dinosaur instead. No, we should call it Gata. Gato. Yes. El Gato. And I need to come up with a new name for Jonathan because Jonathan Anchor is not working. JB. If first of all, it is Johnny, not Jonathan. We're calling him JB. No. As per Syracuse. I got something. You do? Yes. His name is Bayamon. Can you say that? Bayamon. 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 What is that? You're a boy. You're a boy. <laughs> I don't from, even. I don't think you're buddy. Bayamon is the hometown he's from. <laughs> okay. Los, Los, what was it? The Cowboys of Bayamon. Talk about Spanish. I was wondering why you said that. That's where he's from. Bayamon. But we got a great crew here today. And Gio, thank you for cleaning up the wires, so I'm not going to break my neck, and Jen G will not break her neck on these okay. wires anymore. You know, we have to make our clients happy, and this way we're not tripping over things. Look what I got. Chill, please. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Is that 888, the number to call? 888-994-4995. Is that our number? That is our number to call directly. 888-994-4995. That is it. How come I can barely read that? Because it's in pen. Oh. I want to do an experiment. I want you to call in today. Yesterday, somebody wrote in the answer to the qu trivia question, which was JoJo and Patty. Patty. P. Patty P. They were singing off camera to see, because they sound the same, see if anybody uh, can determine who was who. And somebody won the 20% off at Harvest Grill. And she came this morning and said, I want my prize. As she said, I'm the only one that answered, <laughs> so I'm winning. So she did. So, Jean, great job. So, what's your next question? I had He's going to think of a question. I to have win a question. 20% off, give us a call for 20% off to Harvest Seasonal Grill and Wine Bar. We're going to be talking social media and the V card, the virtual reality card, because people get a little wonky when I call it the V card. 888 994 4995. Why do they get wonky? Why? Because they just do. Why? <laughs> Why are you holding a stuffed doll? Why are you holding a doll on the set? I'm not. <laughs> this is not a doubt. This is to keep law and order. 888-994-4995. Come on down. Friday is Art Walk at the Heart of Delray Gallery from 6 until 9 p.m. We'll be right here at 1440 North Federal Highway. Do we have a theme? Is there a theme for Friday? Is there a theme for Friday? It's 4th of July, so red, white, and blue. Are we going to have that table? I have an idea. Can we do red, white, and blue jello shots? Sure. I can't oh, <laughs> you notice how every, I'll get you sugar-free jello. How about that? Okay. We'll do sugar-free jello. Funny how we got everyone's attention when I said you know, that. You should have seen the heads turn. Oh, everybody in that room turned their heads <laughs> when they heard jello shots. Red, white, and blue jello shots. That's about my cooking extent for the 4th of July. Now, we're going to have some entertainment in here in the near future. For more details, tune in. But I hear there's going to be some kind of uh, casino poker All the benefit of charity. Charity, charity, we're charity. We're going to have a charity night with some gaming. That's gaming? Gaming. Yes. Interesting. Gaming. That's correct. Gaming. So tune in. If you want more information, you can call 561-278-0074 and ask for Dan. That's the number to the gallery. But today's question that I'm going to ask, do you want to learn how to enhance your business? That's a good question. If you I can't do, imagine anyone that would not say yes. If you do, you call 888-994-4995. And I hope to God they know what to do when you do. But you call up. <laughs> We have the V car on the set. Now, how many of the, how many members of the crew? <laughs> of all the things we talk about, that's what gets posted. Unbelievable. How many people from the crew has, have downloaded their free V card? Anyone have a V card yet? Of course not. No, uh -huh. they have not. Well, I'm going to make it interesting for you. For those of you that download it, I'll give you a free jello shot. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you they'll all download it. They're downloading Jackie's guys. Jackie's right on that. there now. <laughs> Look at Jackie, look. Oh, She's getting ready to go. Oh, Download it, your V-card. It is amazing what you can get people to do. Look how nice that room looks. And I want to thank Paul Badiato for the extra lights and backdrop that he 
generously oh, you see how upon nice us. That room it looks was? really nice. Yeah. See, Jen, we're moving and grooving I since you've it. been away. Yeah. Jen, last night, yesterday we had an MC, we had singers. We had I watched. I always watch. If I can't watch live, I always go back and Do watch. Do you? Always. Were yeah. you in Texas yesterday? I was not in Texas yesterday. I was in Texas the week before. But um, yesterday I was on um, the phone doing a Zoom call with England because we're bringing on um, professional soccer teams in the UK. So that's what I was and with the, with the World okay. Cup going on, yeah. you see that the Russians got into the finals. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever thought the Russians could even kick a ball, much that's less right. play it. <laughs> they can block Argentina's in it, too? Argentina's out. Argentina is out. Oh, Someone I saw sorry, Argentina. You got to go. Who, who else is uh, in, the, uh, in the cup? Who else? Uh, How about Spain? Croatia? Croatia still Who's in, in there? Guys? Uruguay is still in there. Uruguay? I can't even spell that. It starts with a U. Hey, uh, uh, Bayamon, do we have any <laughs> updates on the World Cup? Nate's writing copy. He needs a mic. Right. Okay, so the updates on the World Cup. You got to talk into your mic. Is it on? Is it on? I can't hear you. Right. He's looking. Now? I can't hear you. Hello, testing, testing. Is that his number? Is the mic on? Uh, no. We'll be right back. <laughs> it's funny because I have money in Croatia. Of course you do. <laughs> of all, on Croatia. Of, of all places. Of course. But you know what the odds were? Forget about it. If they Here's win. what I've learned when Freddie games. He shouldn't. You <laughs> pick somebody else. That's not true. I won with the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, really? I won. You won? I, then why did you have the Eagles balloon? Because you didn't win. No, I had to pay back a debt. Well, I started to cover both sides, but I have more yeah. money in the Eagles. I knew the Eagles were going to beat them. We had that balloon in here for six months. That's right. You giving us a thumbs up? You ready to chit chat? I think so. Am I being heard? Yes. All right, awesome. So, as far as the World Cup goes, I know Russia eliminated Spain with uh, penalty kicks. And, so, I guess uh, Spain is out. Yep, Spain's, Spain's out. out. All my teams are out, actually. So, who's in? Japan uh, is out. Russia. Of Russia. course, it's being hosted in Russia. Huh? Brazil eliminated Mexico. Yeah. Oh, Mexico's really? Like Brazil like is still in? Holy smoke. Yeah, Belgium eliminated Japan. Belgium and yeah. Japan? Belgium. Who the hell and is that? Sweden against Switzerland. Who are you liking that? Uh, Switzerland, they're neutral. Brazil now, honestly, because Argentina's gone. Messi, Messi lost his chance to win another day. That's right. He lost his shoe in the process. I like Switzerland. Yeah. You like Switzerland? Sound of music. It's very peaceful. Is Croatia still in it? Yes, they are actually. They That's defeated right. Denmark. That's right. Watch out, baby, because here we come. Look how clean this set is. <laughs> Your so, bet's still on, Freddie. How you least Freddie says, really, Freddie? V, think about it. You're getting called out. Sorry, just For saying. For what? For the V call? Hallie Elise, yeah. Hey, Hallie. Really? <laughs> really? If you're, you're the psychic from Hallie Elise show, you should know better than to ask me why. There's nothing wrong with the word V card. It's a virtual reality card. Virtual reality. That's a VR card. Business card. Yeah. You know, we got a celebrity in our house. You were on the big set last week. Oh. Can we share where you were yeah, last of week? Yeah, All right, we're tell really us where excited. you are. So, uh, Shark Tank has a spin off called America's Real Deal, and it's yeah. hosted by Kevin Harrington and Forbes Riley. And they shot season one, and we are their social media for the entire show. So well, they isn't are that a coincidence, Dinky? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So, everyone who wants to be on the real deal, they need to send their demo reel through the V-card. Yeah. Really? Yes. And, and then I get an idea. We have to put a show up for Shark Tank. Well, I'll Real Deal. I'll tell you the interesting thing. The spin on Real Deal was um, now, instead of the sharks being able to invest into the company, they're opening up to the American people. Wow. That you can now invest in the company. They have this great app, Jeez. and it does a whole crowd it's a million thing. billion oh, dollar producer. Yeah, it's tremendous. So it was funny when we were there, they were like, oh, are you uh, pitching to the sharks? I said, no, they pitched to us. And that is so, really, yeah. How did really they find cool. you? We, we do a lot of outreach to corporations, to what we see. We have our ear to the ground. When we see something innovative, because we're disruptive technology, so whenever we see something that's disruptive, we are on them like you can't believe it. I love that tag. Disruptive that's technology, that's you are Disrupt disruptive. That's right. You know what I was told Oh, today? that's a good call. I said, let's put the cafe on Instagram. You know what they told me? <laughs> Ain't nobody going to watch that. <laughs> 
<laughs> she did. She did. <laughs> now, eight years ago, when I did streaming before everybody, yeah. they told me the same thing. We're going to watch that. Mm -hmm. Who watches sports on their phone? This is what they told me. Now everybody. Eight yeah. years ago, they told me they left a virtual everybody. business card, right? Who would think? And Who would and when think? and they already shot season one they're doing it. that's what you were there for yeah so i have we shot season one and i trained everyone how to use it i got to see some incredible pitches like the pitches that pe people are so smart the pitches that they do they you're do saying this. pictures or pitches, pitches. pitches. Like, like people like went pitch? to go pitch their an business idea. Pitch an idea. Pitch an idea. this is my jersey accent right <laughs> when people went to go pitch their business in front of the sharks to see if they can move on to the next level um pe people are brilliant they had this one where their son was blind, so they really want to teach him how to do, I guess, things that a typical developing kid would do. So the father was a scientist, so he made this blindfold that had sensors on it, and it opens up your third eye, and with that said, they taught him how to ride a bicycle, and how to uh, sword fight, and then he could ride a horse. So when they pitched it to show it, they had the son, who was blind, he was the cutest thing, he was like 13, they put a blindfold on him, on top of already being like blind with a doctor's note. And then they put the thing over with the sensors on it. And then they had someone fully sighted and they did like sword play and he won. And the guy's like, I need to wear one of these now. And they pulled somebody from the audience. I it need one like, of those just to function in life. I do too. Did Seriously, you, because no. then I could ride a bike. Then I could go back to fencing class, but and maybe could, I could learn how to juggle. All these things yeah, in life you, I could never do. Yeah, but you could ride a bike. I'm the one that has a problem. <laughs> Apparently so. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> now, did you see on the news that they had a guy from FAU who was blind, and they put the sensor on him, mm -hmm. and he could not afford the 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 glasses. They're ten thousand dollars. Right. So he went to social media, and he put in a GoFundMe, and they raised fifteen thousand dollars. So he got the glasses, and the extra five, he's going to put it ahead to the next person to get the oh, glasses. Did you see this stuff? It's unbelievable. That's amazing. It's a true story. So, so I wonder cool. if you have something to do with that. Yeah. When does it come out? When does so it? So this comes out in September, and it's going to air on Fox. So I'm so excited we're for excited. you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. thanks that when we met, we met Jen at SoFlo Mixers at the event at Uzo Bay, yeah. right? We met her, and we talked about the V card, and here you are. She's the what card? The V card. <laughs> the virtual business card, and then here she is. It's what women in technology. She's just rocking, rocking the web. As well, they you said. always said that women that she's always a rocker. Her, her, and your partner. Oh yeah. Yep. Did you meet her? I have not met. Have you ever met? You met Jen's partner at the last event. I'm sure I did. She's Jen with brown hair. They talk <laughs> the same. They laugh the same. They look the same. Only Jen is blonde. That's it. The only difference. It's what's her? I went for her name. Tina. We'll call her Jen G. Tina. Yeah. Jen G. Tina. You sound like Mina. So when you go to these events on your phone, I'm going to show you an app so that you can call us and show us where you're at. I would, I would have loved to have been able to like oh, we could do stream it. from oh, the set. The set was tremendous. Oh, tremendous. Absolutely. Yeah. Really so, simple to do. And, and then it was in Fort Worth, Texas, and it was at this place called the Stockyard, which is this like tourist attraction. And at four o'clock every day, they'd have the longhorn cows like come do a cattle drive down the street. And it's so, the real deal. It, yeah, it's America's it's real, the real deal. deal. Wow. Yeah, America's real deal. No, Unbelievable. And that is the real deal. I just want to know what Dawn DeMarco's short coat is because Dawn, I'm sorry, I have sparkle. So I what know. is hers? So Dawn DeMarco is sparkle of life. Okay. So, and that's her jewelry run. She made this for me. That's what I was I'm wondering. So excited. Because she's yeah. commenting that she has her V card, and I'm thinking, I know my short coat is sparkle, so I was wondering what hers is. Sparkle, sparkle of life. I would of like, life. I would like you, before you leave today, because mm -hmm. I know you're always on the run, you got to run out of here. <laughs> there were seven interns in here. Mm -hmm. We call them the crew now. Right. I want all of them to get the free version yeah. so they can use it in their studies and in their growth because they'll, some are going back to school and everything else. So at least they can take something with them that they can use. Because I tell everybody, if you don't have, can I call it a V-card? Yes, got Hallie, it is it okay if I call it a V-card? Yes. If you don't have this instrument, you're missing out on something really spectacular. Yeah, and we are... We just brought on in the last two weeks twenty thousand more users. So we really. Are she a little busy? Yeah, we're a little busy. And we brought on like a bunch of new uh, corporations. So we've, I'd say, in the last like three months, this thing has just gone. Now, are viral. there any new bells and whistles? You like the way I put the sponsors on mine? Yes. They got such a kick. Paul got such a kick out of it. That's nice. Because you click on it and it takes you right to the. Yeah. 
to the, the links and stuff. You know what we should do is teach Kat how to do it, how to upload the shows while Jen is here. Is it not easy, though? It's it really is. easy. Yeah. We just need a consistent person to right. do it. And now that Kat is back, Kat is back. back. Is the cat back? Kat is back, <laughs> that she can do all of that for you. I just can't remember the website. Is it global? It's um, Vcard Global. I so here's remember. an interesting thing that happened while we were on the set of the show. Kevin Harrington did a live Facebook tour of the set and where we are and everything that was going on, showed the Longhorn Cows. One of the crew posted, come learn more about America's Real Deal, and he put his V-card on it, and in the comments, people contacted him right through the V-card because they didn't know how to get to Kevin Harrington, so he, he got calls right from the V-card. That's amazing. Yeah, so That's, it was that is amazing. That's incredible. Alana, we're going to go to commercial break. When we come back, we're going to keep talking social media. We've got Rachel with us from Two Degrees, Rachel Rosenberg, Jen G, and we're going to start downloading some V-cards. Give us a call, 888-994-4995. Use the phone, will you? Just give us a call. We'll be right back. Discover how you can unleash your body's natural regenerative power with Liquid BioCell, a scientifically proven holistic anti-aging supplement. Liquid BioCell redefines the way we age and how we perform. Formulated with an exclusive collagen and hyaluronic acid combination, Liquid BioCell supports joints, muscle fitness, and restores youthful skin from within. Contact Renata at 561-306-7176 or visit 4health4beautyonline.com. Anti-aging from the inside out. Call today, 561-306-7176. With VCard Global, all your contacts are in the palm of your hand. Never leave home without your business cards or brochures again. VCard is the ultimate marketing tool. No more printing cards or brochures. VCard fits in the palm of your hand and is always with you. VCard is a powerful networking tool that virtually promotes sharing and builds referrals for your business. VCard Global, the virtual business card. Hold your business in the palm of your hand. Contact Jennifer at jenng.vcardinfo.com, the world's most intelligent business card. I got a guy, jenng.vcardinfo.com. I got a guy. Are you ready? Does your family have an emergency preparedness plan? BeBetterPrepared.info is an affordable way to prepare yourself and your family for the worst. Stock up with emergency gear and the knowledge you need to be ready in case of an emergency. From first aid, safe water supplies, to shelter, BeBetterPrepared.info is a convenient way to quickly stock up on survival and camping gear at an affordable pre-packaged price. Order Elite Ready Pack. To get started, no matter what the situation, go to BeBetterPrepared.info and you will be prepared if disaster strikes or for your camping needs. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the Brooklyn Cafe TV show. And don't forget to like this video. And subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when we go live. We'll see you next time. Thank you, thank you. And we're back. <laughs> we're back in the Brooklyn Cafe on a holiday Tuesday, yeah. almost holiday. I'm very, very upset. 888 You know, get hip to the game. We want the phone to ring. We want to see if the stupid thing works. Call us. <laughs> Yesterday we had Susan's mom. It was her 91st birthday. And she got to wear the crown from Dawn DeMarco and Sparkle for Life. So she was queen for the day. And Susan brought in fruit. She brought in cake. We had Bagel City South. They brought in lunch. She was so happy, right? Mom was so happy. Her she 91st happy, birthday. Yeah. So happy birthday, happy Mom. Birthday. They call her BB. They call her B. I even had to spell it. But at 91, I guess it doesn't matter. So BB is B&B. &B. 
B&B. Yeah, B &B. So happy birthday again. We're talking V-Card and social media. So let's get to Rachel. You met Rachel last night at Christina's show. Yes, she did an outstanding job with Wake Up America with, uh, with Christina Lynn, which yes. I was impressed with the whole segment. And it's funny because, you know, I didn't meet her until yesterday. I didn't even know you were coming on today. Surprise. I had no idea because she doesn't tell me who's they coming They coordinated on. their outfits, do you see? You guys got dressed we knew, in so the we same. We planned it. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing how social media has become now an art form on top of a business form on top of necessity, which is also what the V card is about. Mm -hmm. So this goes like hand in hand. So I saw how you talked about two degrees, which you're going to share with us a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's an important aspect of the businesses learning your trade. The summer slows businesses down. You have to come up with a different wrinkle, a different way of reaching people. And I think that the two of you combined are a very unique way of doing it. Tell us about Two Degrees, because when I do my posts, I look up you know, briefly what it is. You've got like 29,000 followers yes. on your page. Yes, yeah, so Two Degrees is a new social networking app. New at 29,000 followers. <laughs> That's a we good thing. We actually have over 275,000 users on the app at the moment. Um, so social media, obviously, like you said, is needed right now. Um, so what two degrees is, it actually works in real time. So say we're right here and I pull up my two degrees and you pull up yours. It'll tell us right now who we have mutual connections with each other. So you can know my sister and my friend from New Jersey and automatically we have that connection. Well, on, you know my sister, automatically we'll have a connection for life. We'll do anything for each other. Um, so it's a deep, meaningful connection and it works in real time in that location that you're actually in. So people who are traveling, if you're going to events, networking, works for business, for friendship. For so it, it itemizes it by region, is that what you're saying? It actually uses your geographical location right. to tell you um, who around you has mutual friends with you. It tells you exactly how many mutual friends because when you download the app you sync your contacts, your phone contacts and your Facebook contacts. Okay, so tell me that. so tell me in a business aspect why that's important. So say you're networking um, and you want to meet someone new. It, people know a lot of times at networking events, hi, how are you? What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. This is like you meet someone, you can know someone who is a family member who worked with uh, someone that you know, uh, someone you used to work with, knows an old boss of yours. Automatically, the connection is ten times stronger just from knowing that connection. And because you feel like you have something in common with the person you know. Yeah. So I guess it's like when you were talking to JB, because that's just your bio mom, whatever you want to call him, and he Who went, JB? he went for an interview, and you said, "Oh, I know this guy." Uh, and so before you even went way. to that, you could pull up the app two I degrees. Could have prepped him. And then he would already say, oh, wait, but we're friends with mutual people. Then you walk into a party. It gives you mutual people. It's just like that third level validation. Mm -hmm. It's, it's always the, best, the best way to go. Always. always. No matter so can what you imagine you combining yeah. two degrees with V-Card? Because then you go, oh, wait, and you've got the V-Card also? Well, you can hook that onto the V-Card app. And now they have in real time. And then somebody can open up their V-Card through that and be like, that I? They see their video. So they like, get in introduced through your app but it's hooked onto the app and now they see this person does this and this is the charity they believe in and so what you can link your v card mm -hmm. to her app yes wow That's great. now you know we had two people on here yesterday and I, I was so tempted to call you on the air oh you should have. i was you have no idea i wanted to do it but we have so many things going on in here. <laughs> it was music it was all sorts of stuff going on but i was so tempted to call you because those two businesses could have used both of you, actually, yeah. if you think about it. One is a new business, it's not even 30 days old, so she needs everybody and everybody to come flooded into it, just like you're saying. And the recall for her would have been tremendous. The other one is a doctor who's came up with a different concept, and that blew me away what she did yesterday. I mean, I'm gonna tell you something, I'm not an easy guy to impress, I was impressed by the two of them yesterday. And I'm looking at the two of you right now, and I'm saying to myself, my God, if the two of you were sitting in the studio audience yesterday, it would have been a lifelong 500 hour conversation because I can see how this will help any business. It helps with any business, and we know the V card really well. The, the two degrees, you've got over 200,000 followers. This is just to find out who you know in common. It sounds like such a simple idea. Does it do more than that, or that's it? Well, as with a lot of social networks, um, there's always more to it. So, another aspect of it. The social aspect is you check in to different local businesses. So we go around and 
get exclusive deals from local businesses in the area. And right now, we our headquarters are in Boca, so we started in Boca. Um, and you can create hangouts, invite your friends. The businesses can create a hangout, and they have a special deal. So the more that you invite your friends and more friends show up, the more exclusive deals you'll receive for inviting your friends. And what's so, an exclusive deal look like? What does it feel like? So say it's a coffee shop, you get a free coffee, or you'll get half off your order, or... So like, let's say you had this show that does its own coffee, right? And we sell coffee. <laughs> We can give them a free cup of coffee and a five-minute segment. Remember our fourth mic at We can BZT? sell them a pound of coffee. You know, let me tell you something. My price of coffee, if you come in here, I don't care where you, you go. You never told him when you're selling. You told him you were giving oh, it away. Selling, no, I'm selling coffee bags. I got, is that a Please. pound? Or this is a pound? What is that? 12 ounces. Is that a pound? There's 16 ounces in a pound. Well, I could spit and you know, put some water or something in there. It's a little <laughs> less than a pound. A little less than a pound. But for the price on this I, thing, He really cheap. sets me up every time. I really try to give you the benefit of the doubt. I can sell you a, I can sell you a wannabe pound. For When you hear the price of this, you're going to be uh, excited. But we can also work a deal where people will come. We can make this a hangout, right? You can make it a hangout, yes. That's we can it. make it a hangout. Are you hearing this? And I'm going to tell you something. Kat, you getting this? Kat, we you can make this that? a hangout. Hang out on Hang two out. degrees. Two. And we can do promotions. We can give coffee doing, away. Are we doing trips? What about the trips? You could, I mean, you could do anything. If you hook it on, then if you hook it through the V card, make it a hangout, then we do e commerce and you could buy right through the card. We can, you can buy our shirts through the card you also, right? Because everyone card. seems to want the kids' shirts. The yes. crew shirts, well, I think that would be huge. Yeah. The crew? Oh, Everybody yeah. wants the crew shirt. Yeah. It's unbelievable. That's going to be on you. Because I saw what happened here yesterday. Everybody wanted to order one. I bet you you didn't take one order. No, because you know why? Because uh -huh. people only talk to you. <laughs> That's not true. true. Well, let's, let's put it on your card today, and then we could take orders through the card, and people could pay for it right through the card, What's and the then it gets shipped you? to them. Syracuse, let's put out a question on how many people want a Brooklyn Cafe crew shirt, All and right, so I we can, can place some orders you. with Tees for Humanity. Cat's raising her hand, so we'll see which, which one you want. I've got one for Shorty also in the car. They talk to me. You got some knife. We got some knife. We got something. <laughs> but think about it. So we can do two degrees, make this a hangout, do some coffee, have them come around the gallery, and give them. Remember the fourth mic we had at BZT? Yeah, we got Which was here. what? What was the fourth mic for? The Freddie mic. What was your fourth mic for? For a, if you have a business, you come in here and when you sit you down, we give you a half a show to do your own promo. Free? We gave them a free half show, right? Without paying for airtime or anything. Yeah, but so I'm not doing that again. They can get five minutes. I'm not doing that. No? no nobody came. Well, they're going to come now because we're going to make it a meetup. Uh, but now I got no excuse because I got these two. That's exactly it. it could be you should do a two degree party. Yeah, we actually yeah, are we're partnering with um, SoFlow uh, Mixers. Mm -hmm. So the oh, next. I mean, that guy named Tom? Yes. I'm kidding. <laughs> that's how we Tom. met Jen. Oh, wow. That, that's so funny. Tom yeah. is usually here every day. He may be walking in any minute. Yeah, I was thinking he might be here, but okay. So um, actually on Monday for um, uh, July 9th, we're going to be sponsoring that. So we'll be there. We'll speak, have a table and everything as well. Now, is this your company or do you have others? The founder is Stephen Fleischer. So, um, Stephen Fleischer? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you know him? No. Yeah, I do. Seems like you know him. <laughs> You like it. This is what Freddie does, you know? No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I... So he came up with this idea? Yes. How um, long ago? He founded it, I believe, two years ago, mm -hmm. and it was launched in November of 2017, officially. So it's new. Yeah. To have that many followers. Mm -hmm. Well, I We've think we should... hustling. I think we I should think download we should, the app. I think we should do... It's the hustles, yeah. I think we should be a hangout. We should definitely be in Hangout. You know, we got the book nook. We got, I mean, this place has everything. And if it doesn't have it, we'll create it. Somebody asked me if we could do a, a amusement park here in the parking lot. We should. We can bring in rides and everything. Well, think about that. If you think about yes. that, it doesn't have to be a big amusement park. It got to be like a little, so, you know. Well, do you remember we talked to Dan when we first came here? Because on the outdoor area, because it used to be a spa, there's all these little cubicles. Mm -hmm. And we talked about making like carnival games, so you can do the, you know, the ski ball on one. You well, can do throwing just, the other things in another, make it a just, carnival. He just bought it. He Did bought he? different tables. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. So we can make it a carnival outside and bring in popcorn from the original popcorn house. We can do all kinds of fun things. Everyone's shaking their head. Yes, we're gonna have a party, we and I know, and Jello shots. We're gonna take care of that also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at that. I cannot burn those. Okay.
I'm going to hold that one for a minute. Let's keep going. And how we can combine them. So how do we do that? So we'll sit down and talk. You can link anything to our app, which is the beauty of the app, that everything gets linked to it. And because we're, we're also an app, you have all your contacts in one spot, and there's a follow me feature. So anytime you create a Hangout, anybody who has the card with the app attached to it gets a notification that there's a Hangout at the Brooklyn Cafe. Oh, Come yeah. join us. That's, That's what we need to do. Yeah. So we're going to be hanging out at yep. the Brooklyn Cafe. And it says social media manager. What else do you do for two degrees? So on top of just we do... You kind of do everything at a startup, so um, we do app development. Um, I'm in charge of push notifications, so we can target exactly who we send notifications to by age, location. Um, so if you're looking to create a Hangout, we can choose exactly who you want to send out a blast to. We do email marketing, um, and on top of that, I manage the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, and Google Plus, everything. So you like so. Google Plus? Yeah. We just had that conversation. Well, Freddie I, likes Google Plus also, but someone was telling me did, they didn't. Remember? Do you not just tell the kids about Google Plus? Listen, if I had a nickel for everything, everybody told me they didn't like, I'd be a very wealthy man. <laughs> and there you have it. That's, that's why just, your I car is a discotheque. Anyway. My car is a discotheque because it's, that's the way they make it. <laughs> that's just the way it is. But it doesn't matter if you have Tumblr. Like, I put my show on Tumblr. Right? Everybody mm -hmm. says, why? That's just because if I have one person that sees it, that's one more than I started with. Mm -hmm. it I mean, it's matter. free to put... Put it on, why not? Why not? So, yeah. mm -hmm. It's yeah. all about growing your social media exposure. And people can download your V-card. Yes. What's your short code? AMP2TV. 80800. In the message, put an AMP2TV. And mine, it's still 80800. And you know the short code. Now, I got a story for you. Sparkle. I got a story for you. I feel like, you know in Star Trek, what is it? The thing on their hand? No, not the hand. You got to open your fingers. No, that was the other. But then there can was something here. you do that? Look at that. You can do Yeah. I can't ride a bike. I got, I, I, got, I, got a, I got a story for you. The next hour, we're going to have my new shrink on the air. Can I say that? Poor lady. I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> no, but there's a story for that. There's a story behind that. But she also um, is very unique in the delivery and the things that she does. There's a reason I'm bringing all of this up. You'll see it in the second hour. So just stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. We're going to go to commercial break. Give us a call. Please give us a call. 888 994 Four nine nine five. Come on over to our. What do we call it? A hangout. Hangout. Hangout at the you know Brooklyn what? Don't Cafe. Call. I don't want you to call. Just come. Just don't call. I I, I forbid you to call. Let's try the opposite. <laughs> See how that works. Fourteen forty North Federal Highway. Have some coffee on Freddy. Ready, Alana? Yeah. And we'll be right back. Hey, Dawn. Do you know what? CBD is. What is CBD, Freddie? CBD is a cannibal dial. My goodness gracious, I'm Puerto Rican and I can announce that. <laughs> cannibal dial, which is found in the hemp plant. CBD can help regulate your mood, improve your sleep, reduce inflammation, and you know what? It even increases immunity. Did you know that our internal systems are already made to receive the CBD? It's made of natural botanicals without any psychotropic effects. Do you know what that is? I have no idea what that means. It means you can get healthy without getting high. That's right. Now, people come to the studio, we give them CBD, and what's the first thing they ask me? Can I drive home? I said, did you drive here? <laughs> yes. Well, then you're going to drive home. So if you want CBD and the experience to feeling better, reducing anxiety, what do you got to do? Give them a call at 561-674-7446. It is the number one legal and leading CBD company in the United States. Safe for all ages. Where do you visit, Freddie? You visit LiveLoveCBD.com. LiveLoveCBD.com. Tell them Dawn and Freddie sent you. I am crunchy because knowledge is power. Crunchy is a revolutionary line of safe and high-performing, toxin-free cosmetics that are redefining beauty. You no longer have to sacrifice your health for your beauty or your beauty for your health. Be conscious about what are in your cosmetics and how they affect your body. Contact me at 703-509-2592 or explore at crunchywithani.com forward slash Liz Sant, L-I-Z-S-A-N-D-T. Again, it's 703-509-2592. This is Alyssa, the paint girl. Car accidents happen. 
Get the most affordable, convenient, superior vehicle repair with Concierge Service. The Paint Girl provides pickup and delivery with no additional cost. Our body shops have over 30 years combined experience. The Paint Girl handles all makes, models, lease return repairs, and insurance claims. Your smart choice for vehicle repair? The Paint Girl. Call 954-691-7024. That's 954-691-7024. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the Brooklyn Cafe TV show. And don't forget to like this video. And subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when we go live. We'll see you next time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For and we're back at the Brooklyn Cafe. I really wish we had camera three on the coffee pot. I got my wand. Because wine. I am, you have your wand, because yeah. I am enjoying watching the crew learn how to make a pot of coffee. How many, <laughs> how many Puerto Ricans does it take to make a pot? A Julio Iglesias. Oh, we call him Waldo now. Julio's. <laughs> Julio's, <laughs> Julio's. Julio's. Like, Como sale <laughs> they got <laughs> Who was that? Show that again. There you go. Oh, and it's brewing. It just needed water. You didn't change you the did, coffee in the filter? You didn't put the coffee no. in it. No. <laughs> okay. You got to stop that. <laughs> Holy smokes, how many millennials does it take to make a pot of coffee? Are you serious? You got to, okay, you got to turn it off so you don't get... Iglesias, can you get, change the, the, the filter and put new Sean, coffee? wait a second, turn it off so you don't get burned I with hot water. Okay. Are you serious? You left the old grounds in there. It looks fine. I know it looks fine. It's or, good for composting. Yes, that's how, then you know what that means. Where's Shorty? Shorty leave? Shorty, might, I don't know. For a she stepped out. She uses the famous S word. That's what that turned into, compost. <laughs> compost. And there you have it. How cute is that, though? Because you know what? People don't know how to make coffee. You actually told me how many scoops of coffee it takes in a pot. Are you serious? I use cure. I use the little things. Oh, I need the trash. It's worth going <laughs> in. This, okay, that'll work, too. Be I'm telling you. Does it's anybody want to help the other two millennials with coffee? I got it. You know the joke about the light bulb? Now we've got it with the coffee pot. How many people does it take to do hey, the light bulb? Syracuse, you're telling me you never made a pot of coffee? No. Do you want to know how to measure their you got to use five spoons, honey. Well, there's not that much in All right, there's two there's bags of bag coffee there. on the bottom shelf oh, there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're having fun well, here. You know what? I'm going to leave you alone. <laughs> Sean, you're doing... Now, you ever seen Steve <laughs> Kane make coffee on the She's set? She's doing a great job. Yeah, there you go. And what about Michael Blum? <laughs> No, you see? And we got sound effects too. It's beautiful. And it's pretty. Have you, and you walked around? We're, it's a learning experience. She's really cute and over there, Sean. And we're done with you with light a candle. <laughs> and uh, this is the except with the hat. You going to be wearing that from now on? That hat? I don't know. He thought it was fall. It, it, it does. You look like Julio Iglesias' twin brother. <laughs> JB thought it was fall. It's 110 degrees out. And he's just <laughs> like fall. Unbelievable. <laughs> Um, but we just we just all over the place. All right, Sean. Let me ask you a question. Is there water in there? How much? You know, we're excuse me. We're on the air. I know, but I don't want to start a fire. <laughs> it's not going to start a fire. I don't. Know if there's enough water in for all the grounds. No, you got to put four, three, three bottles. That's so why I'm saying. Can you, Julio? Can you go get two more bottles, please? I'm just trying to so we don't have a scorching I, I pot explode. I can't believe that. From now on, you're, you guys, after you do this pot of coffee, from now on, well, now <laughs> make the glass. But now she knows how to do it. Oh, now you know how to now do it. Now it's been a learning experience. Yeah. You teach very well, Freddie. Can I put on my B-card how to make coffee? You sure can. <laughs> you can hook a YouTube video to it and every learn how to make your coffee. You know, we'll probably get more hits on how to make a pot of coffee than anything else. No, Jello shots. Jello shots. <laughs> <laughs> How to make a jello shot? Recipes, You're thinking? Recipes. Okay, so we're a hangout. So if you come, you can talk all your crazies too. 888-994-4995. You got another 15 minutes and then you got to call the so other one. So I'm downloading the app and I want to take a look at it because it was doing its whole thing. It's two degrees and it says, oh, I got to go through a whole thing with my phone number. But we'll go through it and then we can make this a hangout, which would be great. And people can come hang out. We can do a party. How did you get involved with SoFlo? Um, I met Tom here last week and at his event yeah at the event here and um yeah so i started talking to him we thought it was a great idea so set it up 
And the ninth is where? At where is the location? That is in, I believe, Boca Raton. Is that an SQ1 for lunch on uh, Monday? Yes. We haven't been to a yes. SoFlo event in a while, actually, because they changed the location. We were at Olive Garden with you was the last one I think we were at. Yeah. And now they're going to be at SQ1. I don't know how Corner Porch was. Were you there or were you out of town? No, I was out of town. So I haven't been to a few of them because I've been traveling so much for work. But I'm gonna next week, I'm all about hangout in two degrees. Summer's really hard for business, and we talk about it all the time because people say, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to laugh. She's cracking me up over there. <laughs> But people say, I'm going to, to stop and rethink about it and regroup on business. I'm going to slow it down. And we say summer's not the time to slow down. Summer's the time to keep going and rev it up. So by the fall, like you have a full push mm -hmm. and you're good to go. On the bottom, there's two really big bags that we can use as well. And there you go. Kendra, question of the day. Do you know how to make a pot of coffee? Yes. <laughs> coffee 101 lesson is going on in the coffee nook over there. The bag, so. Wait, can you use the bag at the bottom? There's well, two really. Already... It's okay. It's the same coffee. There's just bigger bags. There's they're in bulk. Yes, they're just in bulk and they're probably easier to open. And if you need a scissor, there's a scissor in the bag room. Perfect. And there you have it. <laughs> Jen is, Freddie, it takes two or three millennials to make a pot of coffee. Are you even part of this conversation? I'm, I'm like shocked. <laughs> I'm like totally. It takes two and a Freddie. It takes two and a Freddie. So we're going to upload a video on how to make a pot of Brooklyn Cafe coffee. That's what we should put on Instagram. Would that work? Would that be like? That would be great. Yeah. Millennials right? Millennials would get a lot of use out of that. Yes. Wait, Syracuse <laughs> and what? Carrie, here's our next YouTube video that's going to go on Instagram. How to make a pot of Brooklyn Cafe coffee. I right? Teach it. And you're going to teach it and we're going to film it and that could go on live Instagram and then we can hashtag it like crazy and then you branded the cafe, we branded the coffee and we branded our crew. We're going to do it when they're wearing their shirts. No, you know what? It's just learning because who even knew how to make a pot of coffee? Honestly, I didn't either. A lot of Lana's mom is in the house too and now she's turning it on and we're good to go. If you want a taste test, come on down to 1440 North Federal Highway. You know, enough for nothing, Syracuse, but everybody in the world now knows about you and your pot of coffee experience. But now she knows how to do it. And now I'll never forget. And now she'll never forget. Now she is the coffee connoisseur. Mm -hmm. She can <laughs> now she can be a, a barista. Barista. Now she can go work at a coffee shop. Look at the set. Our second hour. We got a lot of Lana's mom in the house, Freddie. Another TV star. We got Jen G and we got Alana's mom. I know. And Alana's mom has a story behind it. She does HSN. Eyebrow, eyebrow stuff. Tweezers. World's tweezers. best tweezers. And I didn't think I could ever sit through commercials of tweezers. And your daughter downloaded the stuff and I saw it. Again, all aspects of the business. And she has a business where she goes on and sells these things on. But I have to tell you, the funny thing is that she sells tweezers. I spend more time in front of the mirror yeah. and with my tweezer than probably doing any, anything. Any woman on the planet. Than anything. No. And if my family is watching, they're rolling on the floor right now because they know if how many tweezers I go through. Tweezers, your day is ruined. Like, if you can't have a good set, because there'll be tweezers where you're like, I think I got, and then it misses, and it's not together. Tweezers are the key. Tweezers are right up there yeah. with the razor. That's because 100% right. Because that, and, yeah. you know, if you're stranded on a desert island, the three things you need, tweezers, a razor, and concealer. And I'm good to go. <laughs> yeah. Did you I, get that? I, I'm trying to fill out the You know it's like to have a whole show while he's on his phone? I'm trying to fill out the <laughs> but two gee, degree But, playing. <laughs> the two degree app, I'm telling you. It's very complicated. No, How's it not. going for you? It has a hundred questions. I gotta answer all of them. <laughs> My finger don't work fast enough. Why all the questions? What is it looking for? It's well, hometown and stuff. That's basic stuff. If you want to get the best experience out of it, you need to make sure your contacts are downloaded and we know more information about you because you have your own little profile in there. So now, will it track you? It, it you give access to location, so that's how it works. So it would have to know where you are to see who's around. So you. if I'm here and Jen is Text. down the street. Will she know I'm here? It will say that you're nearby. It'll so say it's like, like friends around nearby. A mile or something like that, less than a mile away. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to tell uh, Jen that um, somebody got a hold of my 8800 V card code, put okay. in an amp, and he found me. 
and he's in Texas. And this is a cousin of mine. We call ourselves cousin because we had like family 100 years ago that sort of knew each other. But we're like family. We went to high school together. His name is Romy. Romy's watching today. And Romy has a cake because we used to play football for the Hermits. He has a cake? See, he's having an anniversary party for his graduating class of 76, 77. I don't know what it is. And he wants to invite everybody. I think 46 people have responded. Now, our classes weren't big. My graduating class must have been 40 people. Wow. My school? Yeah. Not Indeed Clinton? with Clinton? No, no, I, no Clinton I went to Puerto Rico. Oh, okay. I, went I was going to say. No, so we're not that. I went to San Antonio Abad, which I, I'm thinking here because if I had any one of these things working, but the V card work and they found me and wrote me next week wants to V mix in and have as many people to come on from San Antonio, from San Antonio to say, you know, uh, happy anniversary and whatever. But it's really strange because these are people that I've lost contact over 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to Romy and Andy. I heard that he's a, uh, in, a, in a wheelchair and, and it's his brother, another cousin. But it was because of the V card that they found me. And I was shocked. I just sat back and said, I can't, I can't believe this. He sent me pictures, he's married, I mean, the whole nine yards, and they have this big cake, and Juji, yeah, my cousin <laughs> Juji, he's in New York, and he's like, Freddie, I can't believe it. I, I used to hang out with that graduating class, but I wasn't in that class, mm -hmm. so I'm sort of an outsider looking in. But not to say that you can't use these particular platforms to find people from your past, you yeah. know? It's kind of cool. I thought that was really nice that I got to find family. Well, if people are looking for you, how do they find you on your V-card? Well, apparently he saw a show and he went well, to no, 80, tell 80, everyone else. 8088. No, 8800. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, uh, J-E-N-N-G dot B card info dot com. That's one way. Or just go to my short code 80800 Gen G. That's the message. Press send and then you get my card. Contact me. We can hook you up with something beautiful. Um, a, like a, a wand gift. No, that's taken. Nobody else can have that. And like that a sparkle is taken as well. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, if you have a business, I would definitely call this lady today because the, the idea to help your business grow may not have been thought of yet. You talk to her for 15 minutes, I guarantee you she's going to come up with something. And World's Best Tweezers, you can have your video clip yeah. on your V-card of, of tweezing, and do she you, needs it. Do you know that I'm going to have a pin? You look like Alana's sister. I'm just saying, I'm, honestly, right? Yes. You really her mom? <laughs> did, you bring, did, did you bring your birth Alana, certificate? Honestly, she looks like your sister. Did you bring your birth certificate? Yeah. I don't have one, so what? it's all good. Yeah, you, so you she'll buy yours. Mine is missing. We can have a pin, a pin put. A pin? A pin, yes. A tweezer pin that has oh, the a name. Pin. A pin. What did I say? A, a burger? I well, said I'm a thinking pin. pin, like a drop location, no, like a, a pin. pin. I'm pointing here for a pin. <laughs> a pin. This is a pin. It's like Handcuff Jamie. This girl came in. You want her she, to wear tweezers? Yes. Handcuff Jamie came in here. You know Handcuff? Yeah. Jamie was CBD. She came in here. She told me a story. It was a friend of her that told us a story about her husband handcuffs in the bedroom. Something, something ridiculous. <laughs> but I'd be the story. And so appropriate. I, so I said, no, it's clean. So I said, Handcuff Jamie. So you see the machine over there, the typewriter? Yeah. Oh, see, that's yeah, the You see the right. handcuffs with the fur? <laughs> Every time she comes on, they put it on the set. So everybody knows her now as Handcuff Jamie. Mm -hmm. It's like a branding thing. Yeah. It works. Yep. The one here with the ones. This one, when I first met her, she was sitting on her hands. So she would talk like this. So I said, what happened to your arms? <laughs> <laughs> they said I wasn't allowed to use them. It was the funny. I should have kept that video. It's probably there someplace. That was the funniest thing. She wouldn't use her hands. But more with the V-Card and more with Two Degrees. Rachel, how can people download the app? You can go to the App Store and just type in Two Degrees, the words T-W-O space D-E-G-R-E. You need the space between the two. I just found that out. Mm -hmm. Two That's Degrees amazing. to grow your marketing. You can link it anywhere to your V-Card. You can link anything to the V-Card. And we're going to make this Two Degrees Hangout. So you now can come can down put, and have some can coffee. Can I forget the app 
on my V card. Yes. A link to that. Yes. We're going to do all that, but you know what? We need to go out because we're going to play a special four-minute segment that our kids put together oh, from yeah. Smith Smiles between the one o'clock so hour. So stay tuned. Do not log right. out. You have that queued up. I want okay. you to take a look at this video. It's a special foundation that gives back to toys for children in hospitals across the country. And we want to thank you for helping this video actually come So forward. the Smith Smiles Foundation, they're giving, actually they're on their way to Tennessee right now to give out another 300 toys. So stay tuned and we'll be back after the one o'clock hour, 95.3 FM and 1470 AM. That would be informative. Be minutes. right back. All right. Nonprofit called Smith Smiles, and we raise money to buy toys to give to children in the hospital so they can put a smile on their faces. Because I was in the hospital when I was a little kid and having back surgery, and I was in and out of the hospital a lot. We deliver toys to children in the hospital. I help sort the toys into boxes. So, Tracy, when and how did you become a nonprofit? So, my children started collecting toys at different um, camps and schools and birthday parties since 2010, but people were trying to give us money. So we decided in about 2016 to officially become a nonprofit. So we named ourselves Smith Smiles because our last name is Smith and we are already bringing smiles to children healing in the hospital. We've now officially donated to 10 different states. Before we were just circling around in Florida where we could drive to and bring all of the toys that we were collecting. My brothers realized that the toys have broken and missing pieces, so my oldest brother, Zachary. I donated my birthday presents, um, because I was having my birthday coming up, to that hospital that she was at. And we went from there. Like, they thought it was like Christmas presents, and, like Hanukkah presents. We were very excited. We got news from the governor's office. The governor, Rick Scott, awarded all three children, Zachary, Grayson, and Ari, with the Community Service Award. They got the Champion of Service Award awarded to them in December. We got ushered up to Tallahassee and all three of them in the middle of the cabinet meeting got an individualized plaque to them for all the community service they've done in Florida. So at that time we had donated around 6,000 toys and now we're up to 7,500 toys just from December and we're continuing to grow. I like to do it because it's just well, I know how it feels. Well, I feel like I am making a big difference in the world, and that little thing can help, um, hopefully make them go home and say, hey, Smith Smiles got me this cool thing. Like the little kids, and then they jump around because they're really happy. It's amazing because we actually get recognized sometimes. For example, a couple of weeks ago, we were at physical therapy for my daughter, and another child there, the mom said, you look really familiar. And we have given them a toy when her son was in the hospital. We're able to bring them smiles. We're able to bring the children something to do with their families, to play a board game as a family and take their worries away for a few minutes. We know firsthand what that feels like. My family, we've been in that spot several times. Also, we give to the siblings of the person that is healing as well so that there's no um, jealousy or anything. I feel that they will feel better soon. Does it make you happy? Yeah. I would have to say my greatest accomplishment is instilling compassion and empathy into my kids. The fact that they were able to come up with this in the first place it just makes my husband Jared and I so proud and so happy because they are taking something that could be a negative, feeling sick and down in the hospital and turning it into a positive. There are many times when our daughter feels a little bit down and upset about what she goes through and then she turns around to something positive like tonight she's launching the Feel Better letter to make cards to put into our donations. It's something we've never done before. So she's always thinking, and my boys are always thinking, what can we do? Tracy, so tell us about what you're doing here tonight. Well, tonight's really exciting. It's one of our fundraisers, and this time we're collecting money so that we can ship to Arizona, which is gonna be the 11th state that we donate to. My daughter, Grayson, her birthday is coming up, so she contacted Anthony's Coal Fire Pizza, who's been very good to us over the years, and said for her birthday, she would really like to have a fundraiser. And he said, the general manager, Eric, why not two fundraisers? So we're having one in June and one in July so that we can raise money for our Arizona donation. And we're going to go shopping for the toys on the wish list of the hospital that we are going to donate to in Arizona. Discover exciting adventures around the world 
from cruises to land tours and completely packaged vacations. Paul specializes in all types of travel and will create an unforgettable vacation, wedding, or event just for you. Find Paul at www.cruiseoptics.com, on Facebook, or by phone at 561-232-2626. We make your travel dreams come true. Hey, Freddie, did you get my message? Yes, it's Blake. Science has confirmed uh, we that real health me- uh, comes from raw, today? organic, and wild foods. Essentials is a complete program of five products to help your body function as nature intended. Premium ancient superfood algae offers energy I- I don't and know stamina. What that means. Food-based digestive enzymes help prevent occasional heart No, I have and all the information, stress, but I don't have anything foods, based on heavy yesterday's show specifically. Our proprietary probiotics help support immune health regulate bowels, and eliminate toxins. Improve your mood, mental clarity, focus, faster rejuvenation, and better sleep. Order now at eatessentialsnow.com. Essentials, life-enhancing ingredients in the palm of your hand. Eatessentialsnow.com. This is Alyssa, the pink girl. Car accidents happen. Get the most affordable, convenient, superior vehicle repair with Concierge Service. The Pink Girl provides pickup and delivery with no additional cost. Our body shops have over 30 years combined experience. The Pink Girl handles all makes, models, lease return repairs, and insurance claims. Your smart choice for vehicle repair? The Pink Girl. Call 954-691-7024. That's 954-691-7024. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Well, it's 1 o'clock, and the Brooklyn Cafe is open for business. The team is ready to serve you a huge portion of fun for lunch. So let's break open that lunch pail and unwrap that sandwich you brought, take a front row seat in the Brooklyn Cafe, and get ready to enjoy the humor and hot topics. It's time to get a healthy serving of feel-good and happy soup to help your day go easier and enjoy your break with others around you. Your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S., are ready to talk about food, health, dating, or just plain dream making. The feel good food you need to help that bagel go down nice and smoothly. If you have a story to share, anything that happened at work, play, a movie review, restaurant critique, or just a coincidental thing that happened to you today, call in toll free 888 565 1470 right now. So sit back and enjoy your lunch break at the Brooklyn Cafe and let Dawn and Freddie S. Get your happy juices flowing. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all our friends in South Florida. Yes, let it be, let it be. Paul McCartney. Have you guys seen Paul McCartney in um, the new thing he did on uh, karaoke in a cab or car or whatever? Yeah, yes. With the Johnny something. What's the name of the, the, the guy? Car karaoke? Late, yeah, he has the late, late, late night. Right now. Yeah, James Corden. You I see? knew it started with a J. Yeah. <laughs> well, it could have been Jack and Jill too. But <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. But did you, uh, did you check it out? Did you see it? Did you see the I whole thing? I have not seen it yet. Have you seen it though? I yes, I did actually. And the funny thing is, we were listening to it, and my kid said, Oh, it sounds like the Beatles. I'm like, hence, it is Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you the significance of that whole piece. Can you imagine having Paul McCartney show up here, right here in this studio? <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if he did? Shows up in this studio. You gotta call Paul. And he decides to start singing like he did at the pub that he used to hang out with, with the Beatles with nobody. Yeah. And he went in there and he lit that place up. Mm-hmm. Lit it up. I mean, there were people for miles that came out because he hadn't been back there in years. And the house that he grew up in, and when he made that song, Let It Be, in that room, he was in that room again where he wrote it. 
I mean, the significance of how important that whole thing is, yeah. is just immense. And the song was because of his mom, right? That's right. And there are a few songs like Hey Jude. There are a few things that have stories and stuff like that. And I'm bringing this up because on set we have Kendra with us, who is very dear to my heart, and I wish her the best of luck. Oh, but it is stories like that that I want people to realize because when you become a superstar, I still, I found out yesterday how we met. Yes. How did right? you meet? Your mom, what, did your mom tell them? Yeah, or you remember? Tell how did you meet? Uh, through, uh, through Kristen, actually. Because yep. when, when Kristen was on the, on the show, she uh, invited me to be, a, to be her guest. On, on the, the show that we were producing? Yes. And um, yeah, and then, I mean, it's, it's all a, it's all a tale. And now you're on the red carpet? Yes, red carpets. Um, it's my life now. It's it's quite chaotic, but I love it. But think about <laughs> how much our shows have grown. That Canva's on the red carpet. Gen G from V Card is out doing real deal, and now to do any of your pitches has to go through the V Card that we are so able to promote on our show as one of our clients with the V Card. And we've got a lot of Lana's mom with us, and this famous movie star is on HSN, and I can't wait to get in, because I will never need another pair of tweezers again. Like, I am set for life now. She's going to hook me up with tweezers. I'll hook everybody she's up an, with tweezers She She's today. an HSN star, <laughs> and you've got your new doc on set. Well, doc has a history. Doc used to be on, oh, I don't know if still so, is, Steve, Steve Kane show? I still... You still the the, okay? Get closer to the mic a little oh, bit. Yeah, I right. still um, go on his show. Uh -huh. um, Hopefully, it's when we unplug our Comrex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want to know something funny? Not funny. It's uh -huh. not funny. And I have to apologize to WNN. I left the Comrex hooked up again this morning, and they put a bypass. It's called the Freddy bypass, so that Steve can be on the air today's number one rated show. The the morning show is the Steve Kane show. With all due respect. Again, it was an accident, but we've remedied that won't happen again. Yes, because now we have nine people that know how to make coffee and unplug the Comrex. And also, I was told I was told to buy a, a timer, timer or <coughs> we're done. But, but she now was I can on, put a face together with who they were blasting. That's right, because a few, you heard his kind words to me when I didn't let him go on the air regular wise. They were really kind. They were really kind. <laughs> uh, and my son produced that show as a production for him, I think, for three months as well. Wow. And then she got to do that. She does that show because. She she works with them, and we'll get into that later. And then she also got on the Bill, what's his name, Michael Blum, Blum. Michael Blum show. Mm -hmm. Michael Blum was a dentist going wacky doodles from 9 to 11, right? Oh, he yeah. was on Monday nights? Monday nights from 9 to, gosh, 11. Wow. And to stay to or talk? not to stay, that is oh. that the question. <laughs> yeah. And she's worked with some of the people that you know, like Alan Knight and Rich. She's worked with mm -hmm. them. AJ, oh, yeah. do you know AJ as well? Um, I don't know AJ. I've heard of the motorcycle name, guy in a black black guy in oh, a motorcycle. Yeah, I yeah, everybody knows AJ. AJ. And yeah, we you, got a lot going on here. And you know also the board out today. Who do we got? We got Blake on board. Blake, you know Blake with the beard, young guy, good looking guy. Hmm, we got sure Blake on board, and you can find us at ninety five three FM fourteen seventy AM. And give Blake a call, please. It's almost the Fourth of July. You know, 888 I don't care if you call because you didn't call the, the <laughs> nine nine four number, which I wanted to test the lines eight 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 nine nine four four nine nine five. And usually, some wise guy like a Michelle Spears would call. Just tell me. We can have Bonnie call. Bonnie's in. Where is she? Beverly Hills. Bonnie, give us a call. 888-994-4995. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Though. She's watching, though. Is she? She's watching. Bonnie, why didn't you and call? Bonnie's cracking up over the whole coffee situation. <laughs> She's laughing. Well, anyway, so we got celebrities on the whole set today. Uh, past stars, future stars, and rising stars. And we got Alana there. on the board, and you can find us on Facebook, Periscope, and YouTube at the Brooklyn Cafe TV. We've got our social media guru, and Friday from 6 until 9 p.m. right here at the heart of Delray is Art Walk. Where is the heart of Delray? 1440 North Federal <laughs> Highway in Delray Beach, 11,000 square feet, 75 plus artists, and the theme, of course, is Fourth of July, red, white, and blue. Yeah. I'm wearing your stars. They don't you light are. up anymore, but you I'm will. wearing your stars. I That's why I put them on because they died. I, I mean, borrowed them. You can have them for tomorrow. And listen, just to let people know, we do sell the coffee, yes, and I do make the coffee, yes, and if you saw the first hour, <laughs> we had 12 interns making a pot of coffee with no water. Other than that, it's pretty good. No, there was water. She just didn't fresh grounds, but we now have a new name. She didn't We got water. dirty coffee. No, it's no such Dirty thing water well. coffee. You know, yesterday we talked about dirty water dogs. Make it dirty coffee. You got dirty water coffee. I make it dirty you coffee. You reuse the grinds. 
Is it my daughter who made the coffee? No, your, <laughs> your daughter's been, no, your daughter Alana has been on board and she's now, doing a great job. I gotta give your daughter a lot of credit. A lot of, yeah, that's why we call her a lot of Lana. A lot of Lana, gotta give her a lot, cause uh-huh. no, I, I would be like, oh my God, my mother what? My mother's coming in the who? On the set? Oh my God, no. Give her a lot of credit, cause Alana walked in the first day. She was one of our first from this crew of interns and she's just like this silent storm. And she walks in and she doesn't say much and she watches and she observes and she takes it all in and boom, she sits down and she just does it. And, does it. and she knocks it out of the park and it is not an easy board to run, but she knows how to go in and out of the radio and in and out of the show and sound and she does an amazing job and now she teaches the other kids. Yes, that's very good. We have, we have Giovanni learning. And she's training Giovanni right Giovanni, now. Giovanni, are you ready to do this solo tomorrow? Tomorrow we're not here, so on uh, Thursday. He said yes. He says yes. He's we're smart. Not here he tomorrow. knows we're not here tomorrow. It's on Friday. It's like what color is Grant's white horse? Green. There you have it. All right, let's get into some tweezers because I'm very excited. The whole tweezer thing. But before we get into that, do you have to always look perfect? Oh my gosh, you should see what I look like when I take Alana here in the morning. Her eyebrows do. I'm like a disaster. But you got to get up perfect every day. No, I don't. I, I actually usually am like a, I, you know, this is like a lot of work going on, but I will say it's very important, like the brows, even if you have Get no makeup on, makeup. even if you have no makeup on, right. like brows are critical. So and you go on really TV and important. do this, right? Yes. And they do my hair and makeup, so, and they, <laughs> which is lucky. And you actually yeah. sell the tweezers? These are, these are the tweezers. Do you make these or do we, you just represent? Well, I partnered with the factory in Switzerland. She I've owns been, the company. Yeah, I am the North American oh, arm really? of Regine Switzerland. Yes. Regine yeah. is actually a very cool story. They've been making. Just stay close yeah, to the mic because he's screaming at me. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to say worry right about talking here. To me. Talk okay. to the camera. You got it. So, in any event, uh, Regine has been around for over 100 years. They make the tools for Rolex, for Cartier, for Patak Philippe, for Longines. These are 100% surgical, surgical grade stainless steel. They're made by hand. These are the tweezers that will pull the hair out from the mm-hmm. root. We do an etching on the interior of the tips. What that etching does, it creates a grittiness. So when you go to remove the hair, it pulls it out deep from the root. It never slips on the hair, it never breaks the hair. We temper our steel. That's a process where you harden the metal so it never wears out. Often just the act of opening and closing the tweezer is gonna warp it out not with these tweezers. They will always maintain their edge. And we always provide a little gummy, like red end cap with every tweezer. Keep it on your tweezer. You will have it for a lifetime. Why are there so many different shapes? Well, there are so many, there are a lot of different styles because a lot of people like a lot of different kinds of tweezers. She has a carrying case. case. (laughs) This was my first product that I did on QVC like 15 years ago. Um, It's a compact with a magnification camera, <gasps> and it has perforations that Are hold the tweezer. Are you kidding me? Honey, so, <laughs> that's like, honey that's like my husband, this is like a portable dream. This is like the best Mother's Day birthday, you Hanukkah, ever. everything, <laughs> five times magnification. Oh, maybe not so good then. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. Yeah. I think this is ingenious. That's the papillon that but you're holding. I'm gonna t- you can put it, your fingers right here. It makes sense, papillon, because like you know what? Tweezers, when they're thin this way, and you have gorilla fingers, right. Right, men or women, it doesn't really work. This is men on love the, men. This is love unbelievable. That. That's my biggest seller for, for men. men. I'm and thinking it really Holy. Has deeply rooted hair. That is the that is called the papillon. Frankie would we like can that. Barely keep that. That that is for you, my friend. And you are going to uh, like. There is no excuse anymore, <laughs> Freddie. Like those brows <laughs> need to be on point tomorrow morning. We don't want you to see any screens. The, <laughs> the, the, pro, the problem the I have is that I didn't have the papillon. Yeah, I'm not the papillon. <laughs> this is unfreaking believable. <laughs> and it's all, and that's all done by hand. Those are 40 different hand steps that it takes to make those tweezers. It takes like the millennials, 12 and hands to make one. <laughs> Look Yo, at this thing. Frankie this Kaz. Un- Tio now has a pair of tweezers. He Frank, no longer has to take care of you. I'm going to tell you something, guys. This is necessary because guys' fingers, they don't fit on that. So what do you end up doing? You end up taking your face off. Right, no. Yep. Not with that. That one. That one is so funny. That is the most popular. That is our most popular tweezer. How funny is that? 
And, and you, I can you see, went right to it. You grabbed it. I saw it from a distance. I said, are you kidding me? <laughs> now, I can see the, the, the four of you and all the women in here, you guys work on your eyebrows because eyebrows are the latest and greatest thing in right now. Well, remember right? Karen came in, Karen Turk. She, she just microbladed. Painted. She just had her microbladed. She had her tattooed. <laughs> she she had tattoos. They were microbladed. Who the hell tattoos your Everybody. Head? Your but face? Everyone's doing it now. It's microblades a little different. It's like an, microblading is like an etching that they do into your brow so it goes it's like almost like a tattoo, but it goes into your brow, so it really emulates hair. Can you imagine it's making very, a living selling tweezers? Now. Right? But it's so important. Look at Kendra's face. Like, yeah. That's why Alana could do an internship this summer. <laughs> She's not working. <laughs> and wow. Alana's eyebrows are always on point, just saying. She has to let them come up. Now, do you ladies spend a lot of time doing your eyebrows? You know, I, I can tell because you're on stage. And now you can look at everyone's eyebrows, right? I am. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. We have to work on it. Because they frame your face. Eyebrows frame yeah. your face. I look at everybody's but uh, uh, Spanish John. I don't want to look at him. They frame your face. Now imagine you were never on air with me until recently. Now you've had a hat, and now you I'm got. Now you've lost eighty pounds, I and now you got a pair hat. of tweezers. I wanna, but these are just. I, I'm. This is like a man thing. And right? look, but look at the alignment. Look at that tip alignment. The thing is, like everyone has a drawer full of tweezers that don't work because those tips are not in alignment. Those tips, they meet these perfectly. I do they, not have aligned tweezers. It's true. Even the expensive tweezer and eh, those. They're not in alignment. You can't yep. do anything with them. Kudos to Switzerland. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if they're not aligned, if you have tweezers, you ever seen tweezers that close and they're like this all of a sudden? <laughs> so what do you do with them? It's they like driving. Toast? It's honestly, it's like driving a car with three wheels. It just doesn't. And work. And sometimes I try and use my nail file to put them back in alignment. <laughs> honestly, what? what? You what? You know when a surgeon, a you know when a surgeon yeah. goes and they have their whole thing, they go into the operating room every morning. My husband says to me, "So these are your tools of the trade. They're lined <laughs> up: the tweezers, the cuticle scissors, so wait the a minute. makeup." So what are you trying to align it what with my do? nail file? I try a and nail file. <laughs> the hell are you doing? I try, I try and refile it <laughs> to the point. There. You try and recreate. It's like fixing a get nail. A, you try and recreate get it. Get a blowtorch so you can melt it and resolder it back. <laughs> Come on. And you nail do nail file. files also, right? I have them right here. Yeah. Okay, these are like. Alana was holding out on us, and okay. I said, "Why are you holding out on your mom?" Look at the cases. Okay, you're gonna freak. Everyone like freaks this over is these. Like, how many cases? These, I do. We do a lot of cases for our great products. Okay. What is that? These glass? are crystal files. They're no. made in the Czech Republic I've been wow. selling these this is my latest set of them the latest iteration I've been doing these for years on QV I sold over a million of these sets on QVC of course everyone you goes crazy <laughs> everyone goes crazy over them so this is a large pedicure file it has two different filing surfaces more rough <laughs> like a duck's less face. rough okay it's made of tempered glass so it's not gonna break it's like what your windshield is so if made I drop it it won't break well, just be, not on like tile. I always recommend like be a little careful so it's tempered glass. So what you do after taking a shower or a bath on your feet or really anywhere on your body, you just start exfoliating. You go in every direction. In your body? On, if you want your elbows. Like wherever, your feet? Wherever, your, well, perfectly. This is what it's made for, your feet. Are so you for hardened serious? skin, calluses. On the, on the bottom of your feet. Exfoliate your skin. This wow. is the Imagine doing that top. and then your oil's ready. Oh my God. You're going to freak. You're gonna I'm love. tingling over <laughs> <laughs> You do that on your heels I, a lot. So. Yes, yes, you're gonna exactly. love. Them. You're gonna totally work. love. So after a shower yeah. bath, no lotion or moisturizer. Just use this. Start exfoliating. It's like a snowstorm. Like watch out. Now and here's it's scoop for. I know it's gross, but you know. I all have to do it. <laughs> so yeah. this so like, you, like, I love this. So you created this? This I developed this years ago. Um, it was actually I didn't invent it. It was made in the Czech Republic, and I found one years ago at like a trade show. And I wound up, this is like really, the internet wasn't what it was really today. And I contacted the factory in the Czech Republic. They spoke very little English, but we kind of managed to communicate. And I said, let me, you know, they sent me samples. I'm like, oh my God, you can use them on your nail. It's the same filing surface as the foot file or as the nail file. Use them as on your nail. You, like it totally steals the nail. You can use them on your feet. You and they don't wear skin. out? They never wear out. You can sanitize them. These are like How do you crazy, sanitize? crazy good. I recommend like antibacterial soap and a little brush. Oh, that's Clean them off and, then and let them dry. Keep them in the cases that we provide of so course. they don't break. 
You're good. This is amazing. Yeah, we do the this. We just um, this is a new set. I just launched this on HSM like a month ago. We sold out in like four minutes. Of course you did. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is like these are these four are minutes. Really what took you so long? I know. I know. Well, that's I got to cut it down to like. How, three, how many you did know? you sell in four minutes? Um, we did around forty-two hundred sets. That's all. Forty-two hundred sets. Sorry, oh, I'm I, sorry. I, I'll work harder next the time. Czech Republic that was the day Alana wasn't here. Remember, she's like, I, I remember, have to go to counting. HSM. When you going where? She said, yeah, my mom sells tweezers. World's best tweezers in these files and we went and where's your mom why isn't she here <laughs> now how often do you go on to sell these um i'm on a few times like i'll be on i have shows on this friday uh i've shows on sunday to sell more I, i'm doing i'm going on i'm not even sure what i'm doing which day but i think i'm doing the files on uh, i think rather saturday morning i'll be on hsm with the files sunday evening i'll be on hsm with the tweezers and then i'm back I think on the 16th and then on the 19th. I have like I have like a lot of shows this but, month. But are yeah. you selling the same product, the tweezers? These are the yeah. These are my, Those my are your on air. Yeah. Uh, my on air, I do the tweezers. I do the files, and I'm launching in a month. I have a new like the compact. I have a new one with 10 times magnification. That's what I have. It's, it's like it's you scary. see wow. every. Wow. It is like it's crazy. So I have a new compact. It's beautiful with 10 times magnification. It holds the tweezers. So, so, so do you that. spend like a lot of time thinking about the next move? I'm like yes. I'm when I do um, like when I come out like when I came out with this. I'm already planning the next one. I'm planning the next project. How can people already? find you, you on the website? To. You go to www.worldsbesttweezers, worldsbesttweezers.com. That's our website. If you go on hsn.com, you just type in Regine, R E G I N E. That's our factory in Switzerland, and you find our full assortment of tweezers. And we're on Amazon, but I'm really not sure. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. More with World's Best Tweezers. We've got Jock. Jock. Doc Janae, I put that all together, Doc. Doc Janae in the house with us and Kendra. You get Alana? We'll be right back. Wanna make your smartphone brilliant? One tap creates a virtual wine fine tuner. Another, a coffee refiner. A beauty cream and makeup enhancer. Wow. Look at your eye. What a difference. And with still just a tap, a strength and flexibility harmonizer. Yeah, I definitely felt something different. This is the Vitalizer. In the app store on any smartphone, a simple download that will embed specific frequencies and vibrations into your phone's light photons and sound waves. Calibrations designed to affect taste. The Vitalizer one is better than the other one for sure. Hydration. Absorption. Feel silkier. And perhaps most incredibly, your strength, flexibility, and energy. Amazing. Wow. Crazy. Well, salud. <laughs> I'm loving it. Go to www.vitalizerapp.com and make your smartphone brilliant. At Carmen Care Advanced Laser Therapy, our professional team specializes in finding the best alternative laser therapy treatments for your painful conditions. Do you suffer with chronic pain, a post-traumatic injury, or simply looking for the benefits of cell rejuvenation to the skin? Schedule a consultation today to understand how photobiomodulation can help reduce your symptoms, reduce or even eliminate pain. Give us a call today, 561 405 9577. We focus on treating you who has a disease, not a disease that defines who you are. Contact Carmen Care Laser Therapy today, 561 405 9577 or CarmenCareLaser.com. I got a guy. You need a guy? I got a guy. With VCard Global, all your contacts are in the palm of your hand. Never leave home without your business cards or brochures again. VCard is the ultimate marketing tool. No more printing cards or brochures. VCard fits in the palm of your hand and is always with you. VCard is a powerful networking tool that virtually promotes sharing and builds referrals for your business. VCard Global, the virtual business card. Hold your business in the palm of your hand. Contact Jennifer at jenng.vcardinfo.com. 
the world's most intelligent business card. I got a guy, J-E-N-N-G dot vcardinfo dot com. a new adventure. If you'd like to join Don and Freddie S. at the cafe, give them a call at 888-565-1470, toll free. Come on in or call to share a thought for the day and get all the information you need to help your business grow. That's 888-565-1470. Let's reopen the cafe doors. Now, back to Don and Freddie S. the Brooklyn Cafe TV show and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel hit the bell if you want to be notified when we go live we'll see you next time and we're back and we're back in the Brooklyn we Cafe got some. TV we got we some got some. sound we got wow we've got world's best tweezers talking about never need tweezers again tweezers for life and nail files for life unbelievable worldsbesttweezers.com or you can go to HSN and put in regime that's right R-E-G-I-N-E Amazing, Freddie. Or you can come talk to about, the hangout. At the hangout, we're going to be pushing these bad boys. Talk yeah. about manscaping. I'm going to tell we you. We got you to a whole other level of manscaping. You know, there's, a, there's another room to the right. I think I'm going to make it the manscaping. I'm going to make it a whole man cave. Man cave. You could do nails. You can do hair. Tweezed out and everything else. We had someone yesterday. Taylor said she's ready to shave your head. Yeah, what was that whole conversation? I was hearing that in my good ear. Did you ear. hear that in your yeah. good ear with the whole tap of plug in it? In my good ear. In my good ear. <laughs> and we also have Doc Janae with us. Doc. Lemaski? Uh huh. Welcome. I'm never going to remember you. that. Just, remember I know, that. that's why. Well, actually, people call me Dr. J. Dr. J. Yeah. Oh, I hear my no. Okay. Dr. J. And I'm a psychologist, Dr. J. <laughs> <laughs> Were you on someone's show yesterday? Is You're looking right out. I was. Uh, a Kendra was Tell hosting. Tell us your biz yesterday. with, Jenna, with, with Tell, Kendra right. Live. Well, how did the two of you know each other? Uh, through, through just, um, was it Rotary, my mom? Yeah. So it was I like think, a whole mixture of, of yeah. everything. And as soon as I, I met her, I was like, she's. She's fun, and then she was like, I love your posts on Facebook. They're so profound. I love your mind. Let's get together. Let's connect. And so it's just been this whole this whole uh, process of, you know, really uh, developing, like, professionally and, uh, and have a good friendship. So. All right, so tell us what you, I'm looking at your book, To Stay or Not to Stay. What did you interview about yesterday? Basically about mental health um, and the Current, the current status of mental health in, in our country and how it's affecting our youth and how social media definitely triggers it and, and fuels it and and even diving deep into the whole issue of, of suicide that's very prevalent nowadays, especially with what's happening. And we talk about mental health all the time and we, we promote social media for business growth and everyone's on it, but I am so glad I'm not raising kids right now in the social media you know, age. You're the third person that told me that this week. I can't even imagine as hard as it was my kids are in their mid-20s as hard as it was then I was able to say no to Facebook and, and no to all of these sites at the time and they and they remember the mom do you remember you didn't let us have whatever it was now they probably wouldn't listen because everyone had and they have cell phones at eight years old who needs a cell phone at eight well I'm, I'm a psychologist and I'm a mom and my son is 10 years old so, so you're right in it yeah so he was I mean he is like the electronics is just unbelievable and you know, being a mom is one thing, and knowing how that affects them. But being a psychologist and knowing how it affects like deeper issues, self-esteem, depression, it taps into things that I can't begin to tell you how many people have brought their children in that um, really had some sort of emotional break because of the you know social media. It's like these kids go on YouTube and you don't know what they're watching. You know, it seems like it's innocent at first, but then they blast you with some other things. And once a kid gets attracted to something else, it can create a whole different world that they go into. So there has to be a lot of like limits that are set on these media things. And it's hard. I have a difficult time myself. Well, I got a question for you because we got to talk about a half hour after you did your show yesterday. And I noticed that you are very observant 
and you watch everybody around you, and I noticed that right away. And I know that you, you look at body language and everything else. And I'm thinking about your son. One son is what you have? Mm -hmm. It must be even harder for him because he knows he's not going to get over on mom. Oh, yeah. He already knows that. Yes. So is it harder for you to be able to see what's going on right now and to try to understand all these different changes? It doesn't make people bad people. I'm not saying that. It isn't that you're a bad person, but there are so many pressures right now mm -hmm. in, the mu in the music industry, in the business mm -hmm. world, that it changes people, yeah? Absolutely. Like we were saying yesterday, there's so much competition out there, people competing with one another, people always worrying about the exterior, about you know who's who and what's what. And no matter how much you get out there and do to be who's who and what's what, inside there's so many people that are like silently suffering and having things like depression and anxiety that they really suffer. On the outside, they look great, but their inside world is really, really painful. And they come into my office and you would think, but everything seems so great, but they're not really dealing with the real issues that are in there. They think, put more stuff on top and it'll get better. And, and call it spackle and paint. Exactly. We spackle. Yeah, exactly. And I, I call it like the Band-Aid. That's and it. Therapy. And, we, and, and I made this uh, analogy last night and I said that it's sort of like driving by this beautifully manicured house, but as soon as you go inside of it, it's like barren, it's uh, you know, disheveled, and that's basically how our society is operating right now is, you know, making sure everything looks manicured and like Instagram photo ready, but on the inside, there, there's just a lot of, there, there are a lot of things that need to be set into place. I mean, you grew up and we've got all of, all these crew, they're about your age, you guys are in Alana too, Social media, it's, yeah. you're all on it all the time. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, what, I, what I've observed, especially from more advanced parts of the world, such as Europe, Asia, um, you know, Israel, what I've realized is that they're able to detach a lot uh, like more easily than, than we are. I mean, we can't, we have such a difficult time detaching from the persona and the person. And that's, that's why I like to keep my brand and who I am as a person, as an artist, very consistent so that it's, it doesn't become draining, like flipping the switch on and off every single You break night. up with someone, you unfriend them. You unfollow yeah. them, right? And that's, that's how you get someone out of your life. You just unfollow them. Well, let me, yes. I'm not sure. Is this working? Yes. yes. Oh, it is? Cool. Yeah. Also, I have friends who are on Instagram, and for them, it's oh, if they don't get a hundred likes in five minutes, they'll take down the photo. And I want to go, but you like that photo. Why are you taking it down? Yeah, and it's it's li it's living. It's li it's called living your life for someone else and for others rather than living for yourself. But, and, but, but let's ask Dr. J. What do you do? Does it get deeper right. than just even that? Well, it does. I mean, the whole social media is affecting everyone in some way, but in most ways, it affects your self-esteem, your self-confidence, how you feel about yourself. That's gotta come from within. So it really is impacting us from the outside in, and that's so unhealthy. And people, it's not only that, it's becoming, it's really an addiction. There are people, if you think about it, they wake up in the morning and they go right on. They go to sleep, the last thing they do is they go right on. It's an addiction, it's a compulsion to continue to do that and they're expecting to receive some sort of validation. And right. when they don't receive the validation, for sure, it definitely impacts them in depression or anxiety. I've had people say, oh my gosh, nobody you know, liked my page, or I had someone that just opened a new business, came into my office, talked about it, and said, I'm a failure. And I said, why are you a failure? And he says, well, I only got two likes. I said, wow, you're gonna allow that to identify who you are. So it's, it's really, really difficult. But then I got a question for you, because there must be something wrong with me. <laughs> because, okay. Because and she's your new doctor, so let's, let's go there. Doc is in the house. Let's go there. But let, yeah, let's go there because I'm gonna be very honest with you. I don't care about that. I don't oh. care about whether you like me. Don't. I'm not here to be liked. Have That's you had it. therapy before? I have never had therapy. <laughs> There's somebody who, and I don't care if he hears it. Somebody who was criticizing about how this post is put together. You're right? from Brooklyn. That's but you're, also, <laughs> you're also established as an adult. You, yeah. I'm established, you honey. I'm a lot of things. Established ain't one of them. But you can. But that's what I mean. You don't need that sort of exterior validation. But, but again, I don't live my life on it. Yeah, but there's a lot of adults, and I can't speak for men. I can only speak for women, right? You're recreating yourself in business. You're mm -hmm. single parenting. You're doing what you have to do, and 
You may be established in age, but we're not established in a lot of other things. <laughs> we're not, and the other and thing we're is- we're easily impressionable. And, yes. And we're separation, right. separation of La La Land, because we're on the air. I mean, am I, am I a goofball? All the time. And those people that really know me, I am, because I love to have fun in life. Mm -hmm. I think that pain is gonna come, so put it off as far as you can, because it's gonna come whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. I don't care about this Facebook thing. I have people coming to me telling me, you gotta get more likes, you gotta get this, you gotta get that, you gotta, gotta, gotta. I haven't heard so much gotta in my life in the last 50 years as I can now. Oh, well, because most people don't have a strong sense of self. Is that what I got? Yeah. <laughs> you have a very strong yeah. sense of self. Do I? Yeah. yeah, a strong presence, you know where you are, yeah. what you need to do, and you just do. You know what highlights my day? is stuff like this, hearing this one sing, mm -hmm. and being around people that you can actually, I love poking fun at myself. I go to the movie, I like to eat popcorn. Is it all over me? I'm so freaking over Can I say, you know, I really think some of the like, joys I get from life is like real true connections. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like you go into the grocery store, you have a conversation I with do a that. check. I Me too. I love and that. And with the checkout lady from Publix, and honestly, I get chills from it. Do you know what I mean? Like your day is better, their day is better. And like just like real connections and always being a real person. And I, I think you said something so poignant and you're so young, but wow. very wise for your age. It's like being like consistently yourself all the time, all the time. Being, and being I, that awesome. is so cr I really think yeah. that's so critical to truly being happy in life because you don't know what life is going to throw your way you never yeah. ever know but if you're you know and, and life throws a lot of disease death hardships but it, you know like at the core if you're good and you're strong you get you get through it's, it and, it's and much you're better. real it's you much know. better to be in a sturdy vehicle because then you can drive through the roller coaster of, of life more i love it hey, <laughs> hey doc you ever gone to a Publix, right mm -hmm. and people if you watch them people do the funniest things mm -hmm. it's like the coffee right? <laughs> so i'm i'm doing you know how i go shopping i take grapes I and i open the bottle of wine i'm just gonna have and enjoy myself in Publix. i mean i'm gonna pay for it so why not enjoy what i'm doing all right and then you watch somebody do something like a coconut. You ever seen people squeeze a coconut? <laughs> like they want to see if it's ripe. You can't squeeze a coconut. You got to push on the end like a melon. Yeah, but I'm looking at this. It well, a coconut work. is gonna be it's gonna be hard regardless. I That's mean, right. I but mean, they do you, it anyway. But you. I so mean, what you, do you do? You're supposed to squeeze an avocado. To yes. See if it's right. Yes. Yeah. And well, you're supposed to do with your thumb. But they're squeezing. <laughs> but they're squeezing a coconut. So I'm watching. So I see. Is it ripe yet? Well, I was brought up to smell the fruit. <laughs> yeah, also, in the, navel, in the little navel thing, you smell it. My father told me that. But the coconut. So I'm sitting there, and I said, is it ready yet? She says, oh, it's ripe. <laughs> and you ask her, how do you know? No, I said, maybe we should find another one that's ripe. So she, I shake so it, we see if you can hear the milk. We are looking for a coconut. Dawn, I'm just saying. <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> dying. I was <laughs> laughing because, I mean, come on now. You ever seen people, like, we know a friend of ours that walked down the frozen food section and the lights are off. They're supposed to be off. I like walking down and then the lights come on. And, and the lights come on. She says, what's going on? I'm magical. <laughs> yeah, she I'm did. making them go on. I said, honey, it's supposed to work that way. You know what I'm saying? But it's so funny to watch people in the natural environment. Sometimes they don't know how to behave. They don't know what's right. But social anything. media is so hard. And, and that's to the point of what we talk about trying to create a kids network is really what we're trying to create on Saturdays because they're on social media. So why not give them a structured place that we know is structured, but they don't. So when you engage on the platforms of the network and the radio plus the social media, there's maybe it's a show hosted by Kendra or maybe she's singing or maybe someone else is reading the kids, they're reading a book and they can interact with it. But it's positive social media because right. even gaming, I would not let my kids go and you know you could game more people all over, and I right. never gave them those playstations to do. With that, I have. Right. A, you play with people from. All when you play with people, over, because what if you've got pedophiles? Right. And, well, well, no, with that, I have. A, does. Do you play with your son on uh, gaming? No, but I watch him a lot. I try and observe as much as I can. I well. used to play some of the games, but you know. You okay? Now that he's ten yeah. years old. <laughs> with that, I have a quick question uh -huh. for you. So a lot of time, I've noticed a lot of parents sort of let their kids just be sort of babysat by mm -hmm. Netflix or especially YouTube, and a lot. And I'm not even talking about little kids. The I'm iPad babysitter. The <laughs> iPad babysitter. And, yeah. You know, I understand it for parents who are working full time, but something that you said early on, uh, I thought was really important, was that you have parents come in with their kids 
who says they were triggered by something online. I, I guess my question was, what advice do you give parents who have maybe kids between like 12 and 13 who are younger, 8 and 13, mm -hmm. the, the YouTube sort of generation, for them to be able to talk to their kids? Because there's some really troubling things on there that seem to be catered to them on the outside, but on the inside there's a lot of problems with a lot of people. All right, let's hold the answer. Let's go to commercial break when we come back. Let's hear Dr. J's advice. And what do you tell your 12 and 13 year old on being on social media? We'll be right back. Are you ready? Does your family have an emergency? Are you ready? Does your prepare.info is an affordable way to prepare yourself and your family for the worst. Stock up with emergency gear and the knowledge you need to be ready in case of an emergency. From first aid, safe water supplies, to shelter, BeBetterPrepared.info is a convenient way to quickly stock up on survival and camping gear at an affordable pre-packaged price. Order Elite Ready Pack to get started. No matter what the situation, go to BeBetterPrepared.info and you will be prepared if disaster strikes or for your camping needs. I am Crunchy because knowledge is power. Crunchy is a revolutionary line of safe and high-performing toxin-free cosmetics that are redefining beauty. You no longer have to sacrifice your health for your beauty or your beauty for your health. Be conscious about what are in your cosmetics and how they affect your body. Contact me at 703-509-2592 or explore at crunchywithani.com forward slash Liz Sant, L-I-Z-S-A-N-D-T. Again, it's 703-509-2592. What is Deborah Size? With over 25 years of personal training experience and workout techniques, Deb Varsalone invites you to Deversize. Deversize comes to you from the privacy of your own home or group training facility. Deversize can meet your individual fitness needs. Offering one-on-one -on -one, non-impact resistance training, post-surgical strengthening to higher level boot camp and weight training, Deversize will meet your personal fitness goals at any age. Contact Deb at 561-307-9283. Schedule an initial consultation and get ready for a stronger, healthier you. 561-307-9283. Welcome to the Brooklyn Cafe, where every day is a new adventure. If you'd like to join Don and Freddie S. at the cafe, give them a call at 888-565-1470, toll free. Come on in or call to share a thought for the day and get all the information you need to help your business grow. That's 888-565-1470. Let's reopen the cafe doors. Now, back to Don and Freddie S. for watching the Brooklyn Cafe TV show and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel hit the bell if you want to be notified when we go live we'll see you next time and we're back and we're back in the Brooklyn Cafe on a I gotta turn my sound up I was listening to Smith Smiles when I played with that piece that John did he did a really great job yes, he did. between the 12 o'clock hour and the 1 o'clock hour there's an amazing piece that John and Jackie Shorty did for Smith Smiles and actually Tracy Smith she and her family are driving to ten on the way to the airport actually to go into Tennessee to deliver 263 toys to children and their families in Children's Hospital so if you hit rewind you can see the four minute spot that they put together and it was an event that was held at Anthony's Cold Fire Pizza in Wellington last Monday night and they really did a terrific job yes, and we want to thank you the viewers and the listeners because yeah, you're the reason you came out and you gave out those gifts and we thank you from the bottom of our heart and we're going to do it again they raised enough money to buy more toys and really such a gift that's right and, uh, amy how are you we haven't sold your painting but listen if you want to buy this painting give us a call at 
9944995. How you like me doing that? I need to put that in magic marker for you. Yes. And oh my God, <laughs> OMG, we got to bring them on the set because I was telling Linda, she doesn't understand what I was saying about how the flowers are put to painting. Yes. Which are sort of when you buy a painting, you get these beautiful flowers that accompany it. OMG, we're going to put you on the air so we can talk a little bit about that. OMG flowers. And yes, stay tuned for the new segment that shows how to make a pot of coffee That's by right. our millennial. <laughs> and I, and I, I did not take my. Essentials, I know, because it's much cooler over here when no, you don't take I didn't them. Take it, but we are we're giving away Harvest twenty percent off if you call or a ten dollar gift card from Moder Liquid Collagen. And I need to call them because I had some collagen pills I was taking. I'm done with those. I want to try the liquid. You try it because people tell me it is absolutely phenomenal. It is life changing, is what somebody told me. Life changing. Life changing. It plumps you up from the inside out. I say oh, like a raisin. Oh. <laughs> say like a raisin, ladies. It plumps you from yeah, the inside you know, out, wrinkles and all. She convinced me to say the V card. Yes, Hallie. For the reason to say the V card, she plumps you up. Right? You know what I'm saying? You can yeah, try uh -huh. it too. Uh -huh. You're, 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 you're speechless, <laughs> aren't you? It's you're a woman thing. It's a woman thing. All right, let's get to. Now we got. Doc has a book. It was in. But I want book? her to answer the question also. Oh, the question. Kat's question was. What do you do? What do you do? 12, 13 year olds, parents, social media. How do you police yeah, your monitor what, they're doing, police? monitor what they're doing without police. restricting them police. too much? It's called police. Well, yeah. First, people and parents need to understand that it just doesn't affect them psychologically, like emotion wise or mental health. When you're watching that amount of video and games, it actually changes the physiology, like in the brain. We have chemicals in the brain, they're called neurotransmitters. When they're overly stimulated, it leaves lasting effects on children. So I'm just saying the importance of this is real. <laughs> it's real. Um, and one of the best ways to do is don't let your child play on or watch anything for more than 30 minute chunks. 30 minutes. Now that is a challenge. Yes. It, well, it, it actually, uh, it is very challenging, but I'm telling you, if I can do it, anyone can do it, because I would literally say to my, my son, who I adore, and he's a great kid, and he's very bright, but if I let him go, he'll go not all only day. hours, but he'll go all day, all from day. morning when he wakes up till night, and not be bored. But I noticed twice that happened, and he had severe headaches. Yeah, of course you are. You're focused on that. So I got a real fast lead-up question to this thing. Is it okay when you parent not always to be the nice guy? I used to tell my kids, I'm not your friend, I'm your father. Mm -hmm. So I gotta, somebody's gotta be the bad guy. You can't, everybody can't be the good guy. You gotta cut that over, go do your but homework. But I think that's why it's so difficult for parents. They think that if they're disciplining their child or putting, setting limits, that they're the bad guy. You're actually the good guy. That's I, right. I say to my son all the time, this is and actually because I love you and I care about you and I know the effects. So definitely do it in like 30 minutes intervals. Allow 30 minutes and then they need to do something else for another 30 or 45 minutes. Then they can do it again. I like 30 minutes on, one hour off. 30 minutes on, one hour like off. Like an and ice pack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, like an ice pack. Make that their schedule and the results are so different. He behaves so much better. Most parents come in and they say, I don't know why my child's um, acting aggressively. The video games, the media, all that stuff, it, YouTubes, it definitely does get them more edgy. It starts to agitate them. They become more irritable. I mean, that's hands down across the board. It desensitizes them as well, right? Yeah, but there's a difference between being desensitized and being confident, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I, used to, I used to coach. I wanted kids that wanted the ball. You know, when you're at the end of a game, the game is on the line. It is the most difficult thing in the history of mankind to win a game in front of 100,000 people. It takes a lot of pressure. It's one of the reasons I tell the interns, you're good, that was great, now do better, because you want to push it to another level. You're a great singer, but I know you can sing better. I know it in my heart, and it's going to come out, because mm -hmm. you keep pushing it. Yeah. So I'm not here to be liked. I'm not. I'm sorry. You I see, tell my kids all the, the time. You see the potential in, in everyone, and that's, that's, um, that's you know, my, my issue with society nowadays is that everyone has this celebrity mentality to be coddled. Everyone wants to be coddled. Yeah. Everybody and gets a trophy. I knew you were going to say this. Everybody so gets a trophy. trophy thing. You ever seen that? 18th place. And everybody gets the same trophy. What the hell would I play for? There can be healthy competitions that in place if you, if you remove the comparison side of it. You know, like we can, it, having, having, 
having that sense of, of like motivation and, and drive is, is what is lacking in our in our nation right now and mediocrity is becoming the new you know the new settling it's the settling no, no yeah. more you well, are you have Alon do you have any other kids I have another daughter who's 17 years old and I think Alana can we hear Alana here if I ask Alana a question yeah we just got to give her a mic okay well Alana am I a drill sergeant as a mother <laughs> she, she said, said yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm a yeah, I'm a really big believer. But you see, don't label it that way. You know I what know, you I'm, are? I'm being, I'm just, that's no, another no, thing. Understand. These kids have no sense. They have no coping they skills they and they don't sensitive. get sarcasm. But you know what you, you know? are? I'm going to tell you what you I'm are. A good mother. You're, You're a good, good mom. mom. Alana, is your mom hard? Because she's right. going to be a responsible adult. Go. She respects people. She works hard. Absolutely. She's humble. Like the, these are the traits. I want her to be a good person and a hard worker. And I have to tell you, she is. She is. She works so hard. She does. She has great ideas. And she's fast. She's fast. And, she and, gets and it. Responsible. She and has she's a respectful. Sense of respons and All of these, I call them kids. You. Everyone here, the crew, we, they're all so respectful. And we always say no ideas are bad ideas, and they come forward and they try. Some things work, some things don't. But they she's always going. on point, and they keep going. And that's how you learn. I used to worry. I used to worry because we've had a, a ton of interns that came through. But this crew, yes. I like. We don't want them to go back to school. <laughs> this, this crew, I want to keep together because you know I have. I'm, I'm a firm believer that we do have tomorrow. There was a time, like a lot of people say, it's tough to raise kids and everything else. There are, there are tomorrows. I mean, you look at this crew and the way they put it together, are there some flakiness? I mean, you and I, we've been through a lot of We're not of flaky. <laughs> but we have been. There's a chance. You, you give them a chance and they will grow, okay? And they now, grow together as a team, which is really nice. I mean, they sit in the side room and they're working, which is amazing. Yeah, but, but, you, want, but you want to push them. And it's okay to be a good mom or a good dad. It's well, okay. And I have to tell you something. You guys are very good bosses. <laughs> or, because, like, I know my daughter loves coming here every day. She loves the environment here. And I know Jonathan, who's also an intern yes. here, she's friends with, he loves it over here. You really create a great because environment. This is their and they're place. learning. And they're learning. And You're we're really gonna, teaching them and well, they're we, learning. Well, we have my Thank son you. coming in from Tampa who teaches me. Mm -hmm. Right. And his head is, forget about it. He's going to take him to another dimension. But the bottom line is that they actually get it. If you but to us, they're successful. extended family. And we said yeah. that to them. And Freddie always says, when everyone is here they're under his watch when the kids are here they're under our watch because if my kids were somewhere i would hope that the adults were watching them as well even though they're all young adults they still haven't been through the wars that freddie has <laughs> <laughs> well they've been through their own wars so. but what the unique thing about all of this is that you know and this is one of the again attributing to you you put your dues in the last five years that i've known you it has not been easy it has not been overnight it has been a lot of hard work, those late hours, because I remember you telling me and coming in and you were tired yeah. because you were doing your thing. But my goodness, have you polished your act. It is amazing. Are you at the you wine bar this week? Yes, I am there. What night? Thursday. Thursday night at the wine bar, which is the where? Vino's wine, wine bar. In, uh, just south of Meisner in the Strip Center, right across the street from Uzo Bay. What's it called again? Vino. What time are you? I'm going? there uh, 7 to 11. And what day? Thursday night. Okay, Thursday we have to come see you. Now you're there till 11. Now that's different. You're there till 11 o'clock? Yes. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Vino Wine Bar is basically my Caesar's Palace residency. Okay. <laughs> She's there till 11. Take the whole crew, show. And people who are looking. First, right, that you started singing yeah. for. Yeah. And people looking to download Two Degrees, you can find it at the App Store. It's T W O Space Degrees. I did the same thing. It's not one word, Two Degrees for networking as well. And, and share we it with your friends so they can download it. There you go. And it's there. thank you, Alana. It's right up there on the screen. Your mom was asking, so there you have it. <laughs> and how can we find the tweezers? And then we're going to finish up with Doc. www.worldsbesttweezers.com. Three words all together. World's Best Tweezers. And they are the world's best tweezers. They will pull the hair out from the root, never slip, never break the hair. Worldsbesttweezers.com. Or you can go to hsn.com, type in Regine, R-E-G-I-N-E, -E, and you'll see our full assortment of tweezers and nail files if you're the more compact is fascinating. Five yeah. times. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have a 10 times mirror on top of my regular mirror. 
Distortion free? That's what I tell you every day, Freddie. If you <laughs> only knew what that, goes into it. Now that I know that that is. Yes, <laughs> right. I mean, whenever I travel, I bring my full like my no, full size mirror with me. No, all you me. need. You could totally do your you do your makeup with it. It's brow yeah, with. It's so, so, so now so now I don't have to pay extra baggage claim. <laughs> <laughs> real quick, real quick about your music. Part. I want to give Doc's yes. information out also. Okay, but real quick, how do we get your music? Uh, from my, my website, KendraErica.com, uh, iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, and basically anything under the sun. And what's the latest in. name of the song, the latest drop? Uh, Fire and Water. Fire and Water. Fire and Water. Um, very, very meaningful lyrics. Uh, it's, uh, it's something that just speaks about, uh, you know, just coming together and embracing the light and the dark in, in, in life and... and you, other it's kind of like just going with dr Jeanette, dr j because yeah. you know we all have good and bad and light and dark and if we can't get out of the dark how can people find you oh okay mm -hmm. so my website is www.drjlamaskey.com um i also have a book you can find on amazon.com called to stay or not to stay it's for couples that are either can, contemplating divorce uh, or trying to stay in their marriage. I've actually had get more out, people, get out, get out. Let's go. I've had Don't more look people back. stay no, after joking. they went through the book than to leave. So of course, really, I've had I'm more joking. people stay after they work through the book than leave one another. So now, do you they, have another book coming out? I do. I'm actually writing a children's book. Yeah. It's called Harry Scary, yeah. and it's for children that suffer from anxiety. I heard a rumor about ah, that. All right. All right. Thank you all. This is too fast. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Be safe. Please, no drinking and driving. Be kind to each other and Uber. hold your pets. Uber. Hold <laughs> on if you drink. We'll see you Thursday, same time, same place, and be kind to each other. And don't be late. Bye-bye. Delray Gallery, located in the Delray Art Complex, is one of South Florida's top venues for art, culture, music, and private events. The Heart of Delray Gallery is a cutting-edge, 11,000-square-foot art exhibition showcasing local artists and artisans with the highest quality of talent and vision, highlighting South Florida's creative arts. Visit us at the Heart of Delray Gallery, 1440 North Federal Highway in Delray Beach. Come, take a tour, book your next private event or fundraiser, or join us for Art Walk, the first Friday of every month from 6 to 11 p.m. For more information, give us a call at 561-278-0074. Health and Vitamin Concepts can help balance you through an innovative, non-invasive biomeridian assessment that measures the energetic properties of your body and naturally corrects the imbalances. Offering a complete thyroid, hormone, and nutritional profile, Health and Vitamin Concepts identifies the specific vitamins and herbs in the exact amount your body needs. Call for more information, 561-392-8448, or visit online at healthandvitaminconcepts.com. If you're ready to have more energy, better health, and a greater sense of well-being, make an appointment today at Health and Vitamin Concepts in Boca Raton at 7152 Barracasa Way. Call 561-392-8448. That's 561-392-8448. <laughs> That's about it for today, and even though the show is over, the Brooklyn Cafe is always open for business. You're invited to join the fun Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 1 p.m. If you missed some of the laughs from today, Don and Freddie S. will bring you more goodwill next time. Although today's show was live, you can follow the cafe on Facebook at Brooklyn Cafe. To rewatch every minute of the show, call 866 224 5422 to talk with Don and Freddie S. after the closing or to leave an order for fun for the next show. Have a meaningful day. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily.